St. John's County officials say that their team responded to a large number of flooded roads and downed trees and power lines overnight, but thankfully no one was hurt or required rescuing. News for Jack's Porter and Maxwell has been observing the damage and the cleanup efforts in coastal areas there today and joins us now live. Ann. Ken, a lot of people here in St. Augustine are feeling relieved today. And just a few minutes ago, the county lifted evacuation orders uh, for everybody except for parts of Zone F uh, south of Highway or, or County Road, rather, 206. Uh, here in St. Augustine, we are still feeling the effects of Milton. It's really windy, as you can see. And since high tide, some water has started flooding into the roadways again, like we saw overnight. Not nearly as high as it was. I don't know if you can see some of this debris right now. Um, Washington, when it was really high earlier, the Matanzas River raging right now. We're seeing white caps and another sign that things aren't quite back to normal here. Bridge of Lions shut down because of flooding. It was a sleepless night for St. Augustine residents as they anticipated impact from Milton. Last night, the wind was incredible. <laughs> I was nervous on that. Uh, checking, walking out here, looking around. Despite street flooding overnight in downtown St. Augustine and Davis Shores, people were prepared and many were relieved to find their property OK this morning. Phil Castillo lives and owns businesses downtown. Yeah, and we checked on the business this morning. Everything was great. And um, I have a lot of other friends that have a business downtown also, so I check on their businesses also. They look OK? Yeah, they're great. Yeah. yeah. In Davis Shores, Ben and Angela Marion also made it through the night without significant property damage, even though water creeping high into their driveway made them nervous. Prepared for the worst and hope for the best, and it turned out pretty lucky. But Milton wasn't done just yet. Bands of wind and rain continued to sweep in throughout the day Thursday, with water pooling in flood-prone areas once again at high tide in the afternoon. The county reported more than 20 roads were impassable around that time, including the Bridge of Lions. South of St. Augustine, Crescent Beach was lashed by strong surf, wind, and high water. We have some of the dunes erosion out there, and we had just gotten that renourishment sand about nine months ago, but hey, that's what it was there for, and it saved us, so um, we lost probably 30%. Malcolm Fabry is the condo association president at the beachfront summer house condos, where the wind peeled the roofs off two buildings. So we want to try and get somebody in here as quick as we can, because as long as that roof's exposed, there's going to be more damage inside. And again, the Bridge of Lions shut down due to flooding on Anastasia Island on the other side. Officials tell me they don't want somebody to drive through that and stall out on the road. No word yet on when that's going to be back open. And again, effective at 5 o'clock, evacuations have been lifted for zones A, B, and a portion of evacuation zone F. That's located south of State Road 206. Officials are warning people to be careful as they make their way back home. Power outage is still a concern with about 10,000 people in the county without power. Reporting live from St. Augustine and Maxwell, Channel 4, the local station.